Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's exciting, super awesome video is about the differences that I've noticed in the last day or two between America and England, especially in the holiday season, which should not even be here yet, but let me tell you, it is here. It is here right now. Christmas is like, hello, I am Christmas. And you're like, ah, it's not even close. It's not even Thanksgiving. And they're like, we don't have Thanksgiving. And I'm like, oh, that's why. Okay, so let us start with the very obvious. Um, things here are different because there are different holidays. You have different schooling arrangements and uh, when your vacations are is different and that kind of stuff. Okay, so the kids here have this thing called half term. And it seems, you know, it's it kind of like every, I don't know how often it is, but I, it seems equivalent to what we would have in the U.S. is like every nine weeks you would have like a break for like a week, kind of like that. But then they have a shorter summer. So like they get a lot more days off, which is kind of like, I don't know. So anyway, when there's half terms or bank holidays, which are days when banks are closed, essentially, um, then they have events mostly and mostly main holidays fall they tend to fall on, you know, these school breaks. So trick or treat in Halloween yesterday and the day before fell at the end of half term. And, uh, which is fine. Cause you know, then there's lots of kids and they have time and then they have today off, uh, cause it's a Sunday and then they'll go back to school. I think on Monday, maybe Tuesday, but you know, it's like, so it's nicely arranged. So they have time to go do these things. Um, but the difference, <laughs> So, yeah, trick-or-treat and Halloween is not big here. Like, and it's getting bigger every year, but it's not big at all. Like, at all. And um, I went to face paint yesterday with Lucy as, you know, our princesses we do for um, my company. And we go out and we're face painting at an event. And that's cool, okay? So in America, when you have a Halloween event on Halloween, that is kids inclusive at like a major park, like this was a major out, outdoor park, um, you would have had thousands of people. I mean, not just like a thousand, like you would have had thousands of people. And not only would you have had thousands of people, but you would have had people dressed to the nines. Like you would have had adults dressed to the nines, like top to bottom scary werewolf or like scary vampire with real fangs inserted. And uh, here, <laughs> like, we had pumpkin family, which I loved. And I thought they were brilliant. And, you know, my lingo's changing because I've been here for so long. You know. But the pumpkin family was amazing. They won their Halloween costume contest because there was, like, four of them all dressed like pumpkins. And it, it was great. It was really good fun. Um, but the funny thing is that here, it's really different in that the costumes that kids can get and the costumes that they make are not a priority. So essentially for Americans, we might start at the beginning of October or earlier thinking about what we're gonna do if you're into Halloween, you know, especially if you have kids because you know you're getting them ready for trick or treat and to go door to door and trick or treat, you have to be like in costume and you expect to pick up, you know, baskets of candy or whatever. Um, here they do that also, but the costumes essentially, what you get is only what you would get at like Asda or Tesco or maybe a fancy dress shop which is a costume shop. Um, while in America, we have specialized stores and we have huge party shops and, you know, everything. And people do things from home and they're massively into it. So, like, that's different. So, costume contests for me here are very difficult because everything that people come in, nine times out of ten, is something bought from a store. Now, in the U.S., it would be really easy to judge a costume contest because for the most part if you come in something that's bought from a store you're not going to win now here how am i supposed to judge you know like when everybody is wearing the same thing and that i found is really difficult because um not this year but last year i was participating in a, a halloween day where where i was looking at costumes and stuff Oh, it was at christmas it was a christmas costume contest and that was really hard for me because not everybody had made costumes it was all bought so that that's a difference um the other thing about trick-or-treating and halloween is that they're set up really differently here so in america where i'm from in ohio at least um we do trick-or-treat as it says in the newspaper right it says like from 3 to 5 p.m we're gonna have trick-or-treat 
it's going to be in this neighborhood between these streets. It's going, anybody who's participating is going to have a light on. Um, anybody who is, you know, for some reason not allowed to participate, like felons or whatever, or, you know, people with felonies tend some, if it has sex abuse and that kind of stuff, they can't participate in Halloween. So, you know, like they'll have to leave their lights off so you know not to go to their house and there'll be a mark that says like no trick-or-treaters or whatever. And, um, you know, and then the parents know, okay, from three to five this Sunday we're going trick-or-treating and then the people know these kids are coming around to trick-or-treat and there's tons, you know, like there's huge masses of children that go around and they're all together, etc. So basically a neighborhood shuts down for two hours while kids go trick-or-treating. Here, and this is the first year I've seen this because I didn't think they did trick-or-treat at all. So apparently they do trick-or-treating, which is good because I think it's good for people to meet each other that way. Like it's a really different kind of holiday. But um, when they go trick-or-treating here, there's no defined time. So like I did some face painting for a friend and like her, I think, nephews and, and her sister-in-law and stuff. And it was great. It was good fun. But then I was like, well, when's your trick-or-treat? Because I didn't want to do them so early you know, that they couldn't go out and have their face paint. And she said, oh, we'll just go out later. And I was like, but when is it? Like, and there's actually no time. Like, so the day before Halloween, it was a Friday, I want to say. Yeah, it was Friday. And they just apparently went door to door. Any door didn't, I don't know, just knock on the door and no one, like, at any time they wanted to like so that's really strange to me because how first of all how are the people at home supposed to know that kids are coming for trick-or-treating secondly how are you supposed to know the home is safe and third there's not lots of kids going so how is that fun like I don't I, I didn't quite get it so <laughs> yeah so that's a little bit weird for me because I was like well what about like like I don't know the community aspect of it's not quite there it's not like there's, and then, you know, yesterday on Halloween, kids were going trick-or-treating, which I imagine some people just might have a basket of candy at their house if they're on a major route. But, um, like, we weren't home, and no one knocked on our door anyway when we were. And, you know, kids could be going around at 10 at night for all I know. I have no idea how it works. It's really bizarre. So if you're English and, or British or whatever, and you want to, like, write me a note below and tell me, like, how it works in your area, that'd be really helpful. Because part of me thinks it's really dangerous to do it the way that they're doing it in our area. And I would love to change it. Like, I'd love to say, guys, please, please, from 3 to 5, have have your thing in town and around the area and have some extra police around. And, you know, it prevents a lot of injuries and things because I'm sure that, that there was some trouble yesterday. Okay, what else is different? Um, besides Halloween, which is crazy. Um, the drinking age is really different here not really different it's 18 18 versus 21 um what I've seen with that is a lot of younger people getting really trashed and I know you get trashed beforehand anyway but I don't think that honestly I think you're smarter at 21 like if, if you can try to make it illegal till 21 do it because these kids oh my god but they don't drive so much here so it's a little bit different because most of these people are going to the pubs or walking home, so it doesn't matter. But anyway, so that's weird because, like, sometimes I see kids out, like, really that look like kids to me now because I'm, like, 10 years older than that. And I'm like, ugh, why are you drinking? Like, they're like, because they're legal. It's a little bit awkward. Um, what else is different? Oh, yeah, okay, here. Because we're leading up to Christmas, I'll tell you about these things. The time delays to get things in the UK is really different. So in the United States, when I want sequins or I need a last minute Elsa costume or whatever, whatever it is, I will literally go down to the store and buy it. Like at any time, day or night, nine times out of 10, something's going to be open and I'm going to be able to get it. Here, I need to use either Amazon Prime to get it next day. If I've ordered before like seven or eight, I need to try to go to a major city, either Exeter or Bristol uh, are the two closest really to me and the stores close maybe at five, so maybe seven if you're lucky. Um, and then if it's something that's like really, really an emergency, you know, sometimes you just can't. So like, for instance, medicine, okay? Not everybody gets sick on a nine to five schedule. 
but the pharmacies nine times out of ten here are closed at five so say you had a kid that was sick at like nine at night and you need something for him forget it unless you call like the the emergency hotlines or whatever you're not getting anything um or you can go to Tesco, which will have, you know, normal over-the-counter kind of stuff. Oh, what else? So, yeah, with these time delays, it, because England's and Great Britain and whatever's on an island, I think I, I think I did that, right? Great Britain is the island bit. United Kingdom is the bit with the other bit. Um, yeah, so, so with this, you have to start thinking about things really early. Because, say you want the brand new Elsa doll, from from the United States you know you have to order it you know July if you can August maybe because it's got to come all the way over and you got to avoid the Christmas rush and all this stuff so that means that Christmas has already started and a lot of people are done with it right now and it's really strange because I know it's been pushing back in the United States also and like it's probably there in some places now but I thought that it was kind of after Halloween, but before Thanksgiving, it was starting to come in because everybody in the U.S. was getting kind of like, ah, Black Friday and then Christmas. Um, so essentially, at the end of November, you would start doing your Christmas stuff. Like, you'd have a whole month. But here, most of it's done already. And the Christmas stuff has been out for probably at least two weeks. And this is the end of October. So mid-October, all of the Christmas stuff's been out. I mean, everything. I could get everything I want for Christmas and I would be done. Uh, so part of that is because the pay schedule here is monthly for the most part, and unless you're on a bi-weekly schedule. Well, in the U.S., it's maybe weekly or bi-weekly. So, like, they have fewer paychecks here, so they put everything out way in advance. Um, but it's really strange to see Christmas right now, and especially if you're not into Christmas. Like, I'm not really a big Christmas person. I always feel kind of let down about it. It's like, I mean, I'm not being like martyry, like, oh, I never get anything. It's, it's not that. It's that I don't really need anything. And I think it's kind of like, it makes everybody frantic. And some people get kind of nasty around this time of year. And I just don't, I don't care for that. Well, Stuart thinks it's like the best time of year ever. So I kind of have to be like, ha. Ah. They also have a Christmas orange that they put in their stocking so that we don't get scurvy. It's weird. Um, yeah, so the queuing right now also for things is starting to get bad. So, like, when I went to the grocery store today, everybody's already buying to put in their freezers, like, Christmas dinner. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, it's the beginning of November. So, like, I waited in the queue, in the line, for, like, I don't know, 20 minutes before anyone could even get to me to help me. Like, because I was self-checkout. Like, in it, <laughs> ah, like, that is so long. Like, in the U.S., you'd be like, blowing your mind up over this you'd be like come on open another lane or or do something but this was every lane was full on a sunday like it's unbelievable um the other reason could be because today's the first so a lot of people got paid today but i think it's more christmas and all the christmas stuff's out and it's just uh, you know so okay uh the thing is Right now, we have to start booking things for Christmas. So, like, I put up on my one my site, like, oh, Christmas visits with these princesses will be this much money and on Christmas Eve. So, I'll line up, like, 20 houses to go to and give out little gifts and, you know, like, have dance parties and whatever. People are already asking about it. But for me, who, in my culture, you know, we have Thanksgiving at the end of November. It's, like, totally overshadowed. Which they don't have it here, so you don't think about it. But I have it. So this year I've planned a Thanksgiving. So I'm having all my um, British, Irish, Scottish, whatever friends uh, and, you know, family, I suppose, come over and have Thanksgiving. Because I like to celebrate my heritage, essentially. Even though it's like a really crappy holiday because Indians and pilgrims and Native Americans or whatever. and bleh. But... Whatever, it's just about, you know, having a meal. So everybody says, yeah, yeah, they really want to have one because they haven't had American food and the food's really different, what we have for Thanksgiving. Um, like cornbread, they don't get here. Cream corn, you don't really get here. Uh, what else? Pumpkin pie, you don't get here. So yeah, there's like a lot of like weird different things. So I've been putting that together and trying to put off all the Christmas until after Thanksgiving 
because I'm doing my Thanksgiving on November 29th. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, so for now, that is my uh, little English holiday differences between us and, uh, and America, well, America and them. I'll separate it because I'm totally American. Um, it, I find it really hard with the lack of major holidays here. And, um, sorry, I still have a cold. I have to like swallow, but it's really, it's really strange because things are so different here. So yeah, you, you, I'm kind of getting sucked into Christmas already. And I'm like, no, don't make me do it. I don't like it. And I have like literally on my shelf, I have like seven bags already packed full of stuff for people that are already wrapped and ready to go. Like Stuart's gifts and, and I have Lucy's gifts and I have Jackie's gifts and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, why do I have this all already? It's so early. Anyway, yeah, so hopefully everybody will really have a good time at Thanksgiving this year and I can kind of feel like, yay, I'll have an American day, more or less, because it's like American party. We're even going to watch, like, American football. Football. Because it's not soccer. And, um, you know, it'll be fun. I think it'll be a lot of fun. And then people will kind of get an idea of you know, why I'm always like, ah, it's so early. Because I think sometimes people look past the fact that clearly I'm a different culture. So once in a while, we do kind of just look over and look past my own holidays and my own events and the things that I would be doing at certain times of year. And it gets really frustrating because I've been here this time of year every year for three years. And it's like my favorite time, like Halloween specifically is my favorite. So it was really, it can be really hard to deal with. Um, but anyway, that's it. So, yeah, those are just some differences. There's loads more. I mean, I will write them down. I had to write down these, like, on my book so I could remember even these five ones to talk about. But I'll write down more because there's so much different here. Like, you would think because we all speak one language, we'd be more alike, but we're not. And then, of course, people don't want to be Americanized here, and they've pointed out this to me a few thousand million times. So, yeah. Mm, sorry, you're going to be Americanized eventually. We're taking over the world. Woo! I don't know what that was. That was like a popcorn. Because here, they have sweet popcorn, and we like salty. Yeah. Mind blown. Anyway, talk to you guys in my next video. Remember to subscribe. Leave me a comment below and uh, suggest something. If you want to know something, let me know. Talk to you later.